Hello, everyone. You may ask me, Uncle Kev, why do I have such a bad anger problem? Like, I get so angry to where I can't control what comes out of my mouth. Like, I begin cussing. Like, I get angered so quickly. I began behaving in ways that I later regret when I calm down. Like, I hurt people's feelings. Um, I insult them very badly. And I don't know why I continue to do these things. These are some things you may ask me. Or you may tell me. And do you know what I would say to you? I believe it is a demon. I don't know whether... I don't know whether... It is a demon possessing you or influencing you, but I believe you may have a demon of anger. Let's go to some scriptures here. Maybe a scripture. Okay, let's go to Galatians chapter 5, verses... 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit, and I believe this is speaking about the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. So, characteristics that we need to have. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. 23 meekness temperance against such there's no law so these are the attributes i believe of the holy spirit and attributes that we need to have so if we claim to be of christ not to say that we are going to quickly have these attributes but we need these attributes so in these two verses do you see anger so if you have the holy spirit like in these two verses here is one of the characteristics anger for instance if you have the holy spirit you need to have uncontrollable anger you need to be able to blurt out cuss words or whatever like have no control over yourself so it's like you don't see this right you don't see that once again the verses that i have shown you i believe it's characteristics of the holy spirit so okay what about hatred what about like really bad anger uh cussing all the time uh lustful like what spirit carries those attributes i believe demons right so if you come and tell me or if you don't tell me but if you realize that when you get very angry you have a hard time controlling yourself you have a hard time controlling your anger you begin to cuss people out you begin to wrongfully insult people you begin to do very destructive things what are you showing aren't you showing Please listen to what I am saying. Aren't you showing you that you have a demon? 
whether it is possessing you or influencing you or whatever else but i believe all in all it shows that you have a demon or demons let's go back to it galatians chapter 5 22 through 23 but the fruit of the spirit which i believe the holy spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance against such there is no law so characteristics of the holy spirit but you are telling me in in a sense figuratively speaking that you can't control your anger like spite hatred anger uh unforgiveness what spirit Huh. Please listen to what I, I am saying. What spirit are you yielding to? What spirit are you being controlled by or being influenced by? Is that the Holy Spirit? No. So I believe you are either being controlled or influenced by a demonic spirit or spirits not being able to control your anger that may be common in this world but that is not normal when you get angry you quickly want to cuss people out and and insult them and blah 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 so quickly that is not normal you may see that mess on TV or whatever else, but that is not normal. I really hope this makes sense. So now you know you have a demon or demons. And you may ask me, Kevin, okay, I know I have a demon or demons. What can I do? Let me tell you what you can do. Okay, let's go to James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Are you looking at what I am looking at? So the Bible is telling you to resist. Kevin, I have been trying to resist. I try not to get angry so quickly. I try to not cuss people out. I try to really, I try to really behave myself, but it seems like it is not working. Continue to resist. On top of that, I believe you need to pray to God often. Speak to God as if he is another human being, but be respectful. You may have to fast and you may say, Uncle Kev, what do you mean by fasting? Uh, in, in general, don't eat or drink anything for a certain period of time. For instance, if you can do it, go three days without drinking or eating. Uh, Kevin, I am on meds. I take pills and stuff like that. You know, okay, if possible, go six hours without eating anything. 10 hours without eating anything do something and do it as often as you can if you can't fast eight hours a day do eight hours a day for a month do 12 hours a day for two months or three months. I believe the more you can do, the better.
if you can fast, no eating, no drinking, or drink water for a month with no food, hey, if you can do that, good on you. For instance, uh, I forget exactly what I did, but I believe for maybe one or two months, I forget. Between that, I think, I think I would fast for 12 hours a day or something like that. Somewhere around that, maybe eight, about 12 hours a day, I think. And I believe I saw results. Inside of your earthly mind, you may think to yourself, Kevin, what really can not eating and not drinking really do for me? When it comes down to the spiritual, you can't really view it in a sense with earthly eyes. If you want to understand the spiritual, you pretty much have to, can I say, renew your mind, like change the way you think. If you have a book in front of you and you don't really understand the subject that it explains, and if the information is correct, I believe you should adopt the information therein. For instance, I don't know much about how to repair cars. So if I see a book explaining on how to repair cars, I can't look at it and be like, no, that's wrong, that's wrong, because I feel like I shouldn't have to do this and I shouldn't have to do that. But let's say the book is 100% correct. Like, what does my feelings have to do with it? My feelings should not have nothing to do with correct information. So what you should do, since you know you have demons, you should fast. You should read the Bible. You should um, pray as often as you can. But let me stop here, though. May God bless us.